Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a bit of a hodgepodge of a few days of me running a couple errands, mostly shipping out items, and yeah, just connecting with you during the month of Thriftless February. Today is February 7th, so we are officially one week into Thriftless February. I thought it would be good to do a recap of my sales, which I really don't do too frequently anymore. I'm not gonna show you every sale today, but I am going to recap throughout the week. February is off to a decent start. I'm not breaking any records here or anything, but on Poshmark, for the first seven days, so from February 1st, to February 7th, I have sold $967 worth of items. That's 25 items that sold. So my average selling price on Poshmark for the month of February 2022 is $38.68. I've had only three sales on eBay and those totaled $59. And today, um, somebody I think is coming to pick up uh, a love sack for $125 in my basement. So if that happens, that'll be 125. So 967 on Poshmark plus $59 on eBay is $1,026 in sales. Of course, that does not take into account fees on the platform. So if I take 20% off the top of that, that leaves me with $820.80 minus my cost of goods. 28 times 540. So let's do the $820.80. You have to go aside, Lulu. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Minus 40, 140. Oh my God, she's a crazy girl. About $680.80 in profit, not including, oh my God, she's psychotic, not including <laughs> the, um, the love sack. Okay, I'll be right back. Now she'll be scratching at the door and like, three seconds so i'll wrap this up quick those are the overall numbers for the first week of february let's cut to the video we're going to go back and we're going to see what actually sold remember to like and subscribe it means so much to me and i hope you enjoy the video first up is this beautiful clutch it's a vintage piece and it's in like a metal with these gorgeous rhinestones i just featured this in one of my youtube videos this sold for 33 dollars with discounted shipping i sent out offers for just 10 percent because there was a lot of interest in this i had it priced at 38 it has a gold chain inside uh that's heading out i'm gonna keep it right here also this love sack is for sale for any local people we have it listed on facebook marketplace the kids don't use it anymore so we're looking to sell it i finally replaced all of the the, uh, Ikea shelves over here. I'm so excited. These two rows are all pants and they have been jammed into like these little cubbies for so long. And I switched this over, made it an ankle boot thing. It feels like a real boutique. Okay. These next pants, they sold for I think $30 with discounted shipping. This was not a huge profit because I had bought these paper bag airy pants thinking I might keep them. I didn't love how they looked on me, but they're so adorable, but I paid $10 for them. They have the raw hem. So they sold for $30 with discounted shipping. So I probably only made like 12 or $15 on these, but they're so cute. Next item that sold, I was really excited about is this beautiful, if I can find it, it should be down here. This is beautiful sweater from All Saints that I got at the pit with my girlfriend, Kim. In fact, she may have even found this. It's beautiful. It's this rib sweater. Comps are really good. So I priced it at 99. I sent out offers for $69 with discounted shipping and somebody accepted. So great profit on this uh, because the pit is similar to the bins and those items are $2 per pound. So this, this was probably about a $3 sweater. I think we have a look going here. We get the sweater, the jeans, and the fancy little bag. I got an offer on, I think it was an Adidas or a Puma sports bra, and it's an item I've had in my stock forever. All of my sports bras and bathing suits over here have not been tote scanned, so I always get anxious that I'm not gonna be able to find something if it's a very small item and if it's been in my inventory for a while, but I think I see it in here. Looks like it's right here. Um, yeah, so it was Puma and I got a $13 offer. I've had this forever. So I'm going to go ahead and accept it. And these were all offers made on Poshmark. All right, the last item I think is under here. Lulu, can you help me get this? I think it's that metal one back there. This is a handbag. <laughs> I'm literally jammed in this cubby. Oh, there it is. Okay. I got this cute little Florida bag with the buyout when I got the Louis Vuitton speedies from my friend from home. 
this was a really random thing in her haul and I wasn't sure what was going to come of this and this was a full price sale I think it's all for $32 it's like a little license plate purse with a little bottle cap thing isn't this adorable so yeah it was new with tag yeah I had no idea where to price this I think there was only one sold comp at about $20 but this one was new isn't it so cute Yep, so this sold too. This is going out. I just pulled some of the items that are going out today. The rest of the items that I'll be packing uh, that sold are mystery boxes. Right now, I just wanted to do some shipping with you and talk a little bit about some of my goals for Thriftless February. We're heading out pretty soon. It is my father-in-law's 70th birthday today. Happy birthday, Pop. I'm thinking this purse might fit in here. I hope so, we'll see. If this doesn't, the other one will. So Thriftless February is gonna be structured a little bit differently this year. Because I don't have an extraordinary amount of items in like my death pile this year, it's more about cleaning and sorting and decluttering for me and streamlining my inventory system. Last year at this time, I adopted the tote scan QR code inventory system and I started to bring everything over. It's been a long process and I showed you downstairs my new shelving for um, my pants and the items that are gonna go up against the wall. And these new traditional shelves are going to replace the brown shelving I had from Ikea that I just woke up one day and looked at it and I was like, this just isn't working. I just want my traditional bins. So I went out and bought those in January and I started the process of moving stuff over and I am so excited about it. It's just a little change that's been right in front of me for so long that the fact that I really probably should have changed over this a while ago, but I was trying to recycle the other shelf, which now I'm finding new uses for it that I like so much better than what I was using it for before. This year, that new wall of inventory, which is probably gonna be a good 300 pieces, those all need to get tote scanned. My goal is to list about 300 items this month. I don't think I have much more than that to list without going thrifting. So I wanna list 300 items and that's going to look like about 11 items per day. So if I do exactly 11 items per day for 28 days, it's gonna be 308 items. I would be really happy with that. And every time I list 100, I am going to go out and do some thrifting. Um, I have a couple trips planned this month. My son is going on his senior trip, so we're gonna be like, empty nesters for nine days. We might take a trip to New York, which if I go to New York, I'm definitely gonna do some thrifting. And I have some fun like Instagram interactive challenges that will get me into a thrift store, but will prevent me from buying a lot. And I'll explain more about that in an upcoming video. I probably will thrift three or four times this month, but I am going to have certain things in place before I get there, like listing goals. Not only do I wanna list 300 items, but I would like to relist about 100 items and I would like to pull about 50 items from my inventory that are just bad buys, they've been around too long, some of them are really nice things, they just haven't sold, so I'm either going to decide to relist or get rid of. Oh, I want to list 10 American Girl items. You guys know I have a crazy American Girl collection and I'm totally ready to let go of some of it. I've just been lazy about listing it and deciding what has to go. I need to update my Amazon status. I'm going to drop down to personal status on Amazon where I pay $1 per listing as opposed to the $40 each month because as I've mentioned before, I'm pulling back on Amazon, at least for the time being. I want to work on the PDFs that I want to do for free downloads for you guys. I want to update my website inventory everything meaning tote scan everything I have four sponsored videos that have to go up this month a lot of my favorite content to create is around hauls and around thrift with me's and I know that you all enjoy that as well but I'm hoping that you'll also enjoy the process of cleaning up back of house getting things in order I want to look at my analytics and see what is really some of my best-selling categories and items specifically so that I can source a little smarter this year I also want to do one real real pickup uh, so I've had a bag going for them and I would like to do an Instagram reel or two this month just get a little creative in the month of February one, two, three, four. So those are my overall goals. They might change as the month goes on, but I wanted to kind of lay it out what my plan is for Thriftless February this month. I think if you're somebody like me who has a hard time demonstrating self-control when it comes to thrifting, sometimes I really literally have to mark the calendar so that I stay home and I get stuff done. And what I usually realize is that I have so much here that I have to work with that it's never a bad thing. did not schedule a pickup today, so I'm gonna 
hang things off of my mailbox if I can get to it. the bag. Did you sneak in the car with daddy? Somebody's going for a ride. Mm -hmm. Lou, you got a lot of hats there. You got hats, you gonna snuggle? It's been a day. We got back from my in-laws and I ended up assembling the boxes for the mystery boxes to be shipped out. We're gonna finish shipping. A few more sales have come in. This came in actually on my way home from visiting my in-laws yesterday. So I packaged it all up. I posted about this on my Instagram story, but this sweatshirt that I featured in my most recent video about um, shopping at a new Salvation Army, I found this vintage Tower of Terror sweatshirt. It's so cool. And it was $8.99, and I wasn't sure where to price it. I ended up pricing it for $125. I got an offer for $82. I countered at $100. And then they countered at 90 and I felt really good about that. So I accepted the $90 offer. This sale just came in this morning and it's going to a viewer. Thank you so much, Alma. I always want to shout people out, but the truth is that sometimes I forget names or I don't know if it's a viewer for sure, but Alma left me a message and said she saw these Ellen DeGeneres espadrilles. These espadrilles are so cute and they are also from the same place that I got the Tower of Terror sweatshirt. I believe these also went to a viewer, so thank you so much, Catherine, for purchasing these beta brand pants. I loved these pants. Um, I got these at Savers when I was there with the Vendu team. They're really nice. See like the detail, the really subtle plaid. And these are a medium tall or long. And I always love to pick up anything that's tall or long because I think um, selection is limited for those lucky people with beautiful long legs. So anyways, thank you, Catherine. I think both the shoes and these pants sold for 30. Next up is an eBay sale. I keep all of my hats in this little bin for now. I picked this up at the same store that I got the off-white hat, um, and I knew this wasn't even near the value of the off-white hat, but this is Ian Connor for Pink Dolphin. Had it listed for $30 or $32, and I got an offer on eBay for $26, so I accepted. This was a $3 hat. All right, lastly, I had to dig a little bit for these in my bin of heels. As I sell shoes up here, I filter things up. So this is kind of like my overflow of shoes. So I sold these Madewell heels in a suede. These are really nice. They were size eight and I took an offer for $25. I thought they might sell for a little bit more than that. I think I paid like five or six for these. Um, actually, does that mean I paid nine? These look like a Goodwill nine dollar tag so yeah not as much profit in these but i was happy to move them it's it's always a gamble when i pick up heels i feel like they don't move as fast but certain brands i know will sell eventually so happy to get these out the just drop some stuff off at the post office because i didn't have any of my stuff prepared when the mail carrier got there today i only gave her one item i sent out the twilight zone sweatshirt nothing else was ready now i'm off to pick up lulu marie she just got groomed at a brand new place. We used to have a thing called the Wolf Wagon that came to our house because Lucky used to really struggle with the groomers. Once Lucky passed away, it became a little bit of an excessive expense because there was a service charge to have them come to the house to just do one dog. And Lou historically was really good at the groomers, although she hasn't been to a groomer outside of the Wolf Wagon for probably five or six years. So they called and they said she did a really good job. We had the spa treatment. I paid an extra $20 so she could get a Valentine bandana and treats and I think like some shampoo to go. I don't know, something sweet. I'm like, my baby, she's been having a tough run with her diapers and her incontinence. I figured we would treat her. I'm excited to see how she looks. She did okay, yeah, the face yeah. is perfect. So oh my God. Excellent. Okay. Very sweet. Awesome. All right, Lulu, say thank you. You're welcome. Come on, mommy. Good girl, you must feel so much better, honey. 
trying to get this cranberry into her. Go ahead. Go girl. Go girl. Oh good, she took it. Please don't spit it out. Go girl. Oh, I think I have all of my bundles packaged up. I don't know why, but I also look at the address of where people are and I try to include some climate appropriate clothing for that place. Uh, Cause I had a couple orders going to Florida. Gosh, they may have gotten a scarf or two, but <laughs> I didn't want to like load them up. Now I have to send Angelina her Yeti and her Carhartt hat. So I'm just shipping this off to Ange and then I'm going to head out. I'm going to go see my niece. I managed to get most of the stuff ready to um, ship out. Oh, here's the mail lady right now. Oh God, I gotta get out. All right, well, right as I was pulling out the mail carrier. Yes, yes, the mail carrier was pulling in. So I wanted to get out before she came into my driveway uh, because then I would be blocked. So I'm heading to my favorite local place. It's like a little rustic kitchen and they do oh, the most amazing bowls. They have like a brine chicken. Usually I get the falafels, but I'm trying to be a little bit less carby. And then I got a kale salad. So I got kale salad, chicken, broccoli and sweet potatoes and they do it like just in a bowl oh it is so delicious they also have the most legendary fried chicken sandwiches i've ever eaten in my life and that's what i'm bringing to my godchild i sent her the menu and she's never been so i said you know i get the bowl but truth be told fried chicken sandwich all the way she's like all right how can i argue with that so i'm heading there it's raining right now it is 47 degrees so warm for Boston, considering we just got all that snow last week. And yeah, I'm gonna go visit Brianna and then I'm gonna try to get a uh, video posted today. Uh, I feel like this is kind of turning into a ship with me and a what sold video. So we think that they are handing out bars of gold at this place. It's always so busy. Best visit with my godchild and her beautiful baby girl. I can't share her because she's just a little nugget, so I can't share her on the internet. But such a nice afternoon. I have my helper, of course. Of course, we just put the heater on in the basement, so it's a little cold. I haven't ever really had the best system for small accessories, so I keep a lot of little things that I don't want to get lost in this drawer, which is right next to my Amazon light box here on this desk. I sold this Thomas Pink tie. This was a full price sale, Lou. Full price for $32. I was really happy about that. Sometimes when I bring you guys with me to get inventory, I laugh at myself because my inventory is everywhere. Okay, this is my wine rack. That has been one of the most practical things. <laughs> this holds all of my flat shoes. So I sold these Sanooks for $20. I'm pretty sure these were a bins pickup. I got so many lowball offers on these and then I just realized I think I had them priced too high. So I took a $20 offer yesterday. Really quick basement update. It looks like absolute sheer chaos down here, but to be quite honest, I am making so much progress. A lot of these items I've pulled for boxes and I repurposed this tower over here and it's all accessories, plenty of space, and I still have this entire row empty. So, so excited about that. Okay, next up, I sold this canvas coach bag, which I've had for some time and I've relisted it. Uh, so it finally sold. This entire tub is all coach. So I'm just gonna grab it, it's right here. It also has like a cute little matching wristlet. This sold for $30. It's cute and little, great for the upcoming season. So from my last haul, my bins haul, I sold this really adorable, the one and only Mickey Mouse. This is a little kid's five, six, which I didn't think was gonna sell this fast, but Disney's been hot lately in my closet. That sold for $20 with discounted shipping. Another item from a recent haul. This I bought when I was with the Vendu team. I got this bindle. I thought this was super cute. I talked about the Brady Bunch episode where um, they screw off the bottom of a flashlight and bring hot dogs to their friend in the woods. I love that so many people remember that episode. Um, anyways, this sold for $25. So I had it listed at 
32 or 35 and someone may have offered me 20 and I countered at 25 and they asked if I would drop the price for closet clear out on Poshmark, which I did. So I dropped the price to $25 and then they got discounted shipping and knew these are $42. So, and I don't see many of them like discounted. So that was good. I don't want that to get scratched. Excuse me. Excuse me, young lady. The next item that sold is this Robert Graham. It's, it's hard to see the detail in the packaging, but it's got this great purple paisley. Um, I really enjoy picking up Robert Graham. I hit a little patch at one of the stores I go to near Boston a few months back, and I think I picked up like four Robert Graham shirts, and I'm definitely making my way through them. I had this listed for $50, and I sent out 20% off with discounted shipping, so it sold for $40 less shipping, and I pay $5.99 for shorts at for shirts at this particular store. So not a bad sale. And while I haven't officially tote scanned all of my jeans over here in the new tower, I have like broken them down into size. And I think this is like my larger brand bin. So size is 10 plus, I believe. Like, cause these, I see really quickly that I had some that were like size 37. So those are um, probably the largest size that I have for women's jean, but I see this little floral pattern here, and I think this is what sold. These were J. Jill, new with tag, embroidered capris. I've had these for a little bit. I want to say these were a bins pickup or something really inexpensive. I had them listed for $49. And I sent out an offer for 30% off with discounted shipping. So these sold for $34 with discounted shipping. And they're really cute. So I'm so happy. J. Jill showing up for me. I have to scan my sweater tower. MJ2B9. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, I sold a Rachel Zoe sweater that was featured recently. I bet this is it because Caitlin just put these away for me. Um, yes, I love, I love when new inventory sells. It's so much easier to find. This um, I had listed for $48. I had a couple likes and I sent out, um, what did I send? I think, oh, somebody sent me an offer for $30 and it sold. I think it was $5.49 and it was cashmere. Plus I had a 20% off coupon. So even though this brand isn't something that is like a huge seller, I do okay with this brand. And for $4 and change, it was a, it was a yes from me, Lou, wasn't it? And up in this tower, I sold. This is the brand Riker. These are like a laser cut shoe. I actually sold a pair of these on Amazon as well, but they sold for over $100 because they were new in box. I took a $30 offer on these. My cost of goods from the estate sale was between a dollar and a dollar fifty. So it's nice to see stuff from there still moving. The next item that I want to share with you has a nice little story to it. So this is a free people sweater that sold. I still love selling free people. This sold for $50, which was my full asking price. It's a really chunky cardigan sweater. This is an extra small. It has this fun pattern on it. Poshmark has this feature that if somebody likes an item or sends you an offer, it notifies anybody else who has liked the offer. And so somebody sent me a half off offer on this, which I was not going to accept, but somebody sent me an offer for $25 and it triggered that notification to go out to everybody who had liked it. So Poshmark sends out the notification to anybody who has liked it that somebody else has made an offer. And before I could even counter that person, because I probably would have counted around 40 and maybe we would have settled somewhere in between. But before I could counter, somebody came in and bought it for full price. So I think that's the first time that's happened to me on the selling end. Uh, but I was pleasantly surprised. It was really nice and it doubled the amount um, of that sale. Last up is this American Eagle shirt. This was actually my one eBay sale. So this green hooded American Eagle sold for $15. This was something I purchased for Rocco and put it in his thrifted Christmas box and he didn't like the fit. So I decided to sell it. So yeah, $15 on eBay. 
Okay, we are wrapping up today's video with sales that are going out today. Today is Monday, February 7th, and I just wanted to give you a few snapshots throughout the week of what my first week in February looked like with outsourcing. These are all items that were listed from the Goodwill Outlet Bins haul that I did on January 31st, so I haven't sourced since then. Some of them are from my closet, which is a video that will be released later on this week or next week, but let's just jump right in. This gorgeous wool sweater this vintage Land's End wool sweater sold for $40 I had it listed for 50 and someone who saw my video said that they owned it when they were like in middle school so I thought that was so wonderful she sent me an offer for $40 and I accepted. I love this sweater. This was something that I listed from my own personal closet. I'm gonna talk about this more in an upcoming video as mentioned. This was just one of those jackets that I haven't worn and I figured there was some value in this. This is men's size large. I listed it for $85. I thought the comps were surprisingly high on this, but I thought 85 might have been aiming too high. One day I got an offer for $72 and it sold. This was also from my closet. This is a great shirt. It's called the Fireside Chat, I believe, button down from um, Free People. This was in my own closet. Just never looked good on me. You look at the Free People models and I wish I looked like them. I just don't. So the stock photos on this were tremendous, but it's this real stretchy material here and then a plaid. It has a little bit of pleating right here. This is a size large. No, I think I listed it for $68. I got a bunch of likes right away, like maybe four or five. So I sent out offers for $55 with discounted shipping and somebody countered at 50, something like that. It sold for 50, <laughs> sold for 50. Next is also from my bins haul, also a wool sweater. Wool sweaters have been hot. This is Carrig Dawn, made in Ireland. This is classic Irish knit. I listed this for $75 and I got a $60 offer very quickly and I accepted. The Land's End wool sweater that I showed you first and then this sweater, that sold for 40 and this sold for 60. So $100 in sales on two items that I picked up at the Goodwill outlet on January 31st. So I guess I'm going to continue to pick up these wool sweaters until they stop selling. Next thing heading out this morning is this cool pair of Harley Davidson boots. I thought these would have sold a long time ago. However, they are a size five and a half so they're a little bit more of a tougher sell. They're very heavy. I had them listed for $75 and I got a $65 offer this morning, which I was so excited about. And I was nervous because I hadn't seen these in a while. Like they, it wasn't, I'm like, did I sell those? Because I recently sold a pair of Harley boots, but they were different than these. So I ran downstairs before I accepted the offer, found them, and then was very excited to accept this offer. I've had these for a long time. And lastly, this offer came in, I woke up this morning at like 6 30 a.m. and I checked my messages and there was an offer on this soft surroundings really pretty robe this was in my death pile for a very long time and it was one of the first things I listed at the start of the month which is exactly why I do thriftless February three of the sales you're seeing today this robe the free people shirt and the Patagonia those would have not happened if it weren't for thriftless February and um, for me going through my death pile and my own personal closet to list stuff. These things didn't take long to sell. This is soft surroundings. Um, I think I had this listed for 55 and someone offered me 46, so I accepted. Really great morning of sales so far. I'm gonna end the video here, even though it's only like 10 a.m. my time. Hopefully I'll have a few more sales that will come in. Three more sales came in before I posted, so I figured I would share. But the week rounded off at just over $1,000. Most of my sales came from Poshmark. I haven't done a traditional what sold video in a very long time. I thought that the first week of Thriftless February, that is a mouthful, would be a good gauge for you to see how the month is going. I would like to hit 5,000 in sales this month, so I may have to do a little bit more of a push, maybe run a sale, do some more bundle boxes. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me. And if if you want to be notified when my videos go live just hit the bell notification and you'll get an update you'll get an email that lets you know thank you guys so much you're the best i appreciate you and i'll be back soon with a new video bye